How do you make parkour races? There is no parkour option. So what you want to do is go into stunt race. We're going to trick the game. Parker races, you want to, depends how you feel, go right up in the sky. I like starting in the sky, I don't know why. I just do. Let's place that down there. Now we'll place down a checkpoint. Oh wait, we can't. We can't do it. We need to be in the zone. What I like normally doing, just a little tip on how to get these checkpoints up in the sky. I don't know if anyone else does this as well, but I get one of where are you? These blocks. Place it down. Go into this car mode. Get my menu up again. Go to trigger. And just look up. Bang. And you can place the trigger in the sky. That means, because the trigger is now close, we can place the starting grid high. There we go, we can just delete this. Get rid of that. And then when the game starts, you'll see people, you know, you see people floating in the air. That's why that is. Parkour. What you want to do is immediately make sure people can't use their cars. You want to block it off as best as you can. You can use up quite a lot of props. Yeah, you're going to try your best to block it off. People have to get out of their cars. And start running around, jumping around. Right now, what I want to do, I'm going to give people a little bit of a challenge. I want to place this on its side, okay? But when we go here, we can't actually change the world heading. We can't pitch it, we can't roll it. So, all we need to do, place that down, get another little prop out, like this one, and we're going to make it into a template. We're going to create the template, we're going to select this block first, okay? And then this one. I'm going to save it, come back out. And now we have the ability to roll. A little, a little sign we just made. And we're going to leave that top bit. And because we don't want people to easily just walk past this, we're going to now make it into a little hallway. Roll there. So they have to time it right, a bit like Super Monkey Ball, and run across. And of course you can make this so no one can sneakily try and jump across, cheat your map, okay? Oh, that's terrible. There we go. This is very rough, okay? Don't, don't judge me. And how rough I'm making these. So we place it down, you made sure people can't drive their cars on this path all the way over here just to come through, okay? Let's get rid of this. Alright, let's get another checkpoint down. Alright, just put that there just so we can test it, okay? Test. Alright, so get out of the car. I'm just white. Get out of my car. Oh, wait. I can't get out of my car. For some reason, especially in GTA races, when you test them in this mode, you can still can never get out of your car. So what do we do? Well, exit. You give your race a name. Name. Description. Alright. Get a photo. You always want to get a good photo of your job. As best you can. This is like a thumbnail on a social club. So people, this is what they're going to see, okay? They're going to see what your job has to offer and they're going to judge your book by its cover, okay? What I like to do is 
go to available vehicles, get rid of all these, make sure they can only have supercars, and we're gonna oh, the lobby camera, what people are gonna see when it's loading in. Right, now we're gonna s publish it, right? And we can't publish it because we can't test it. We can't test it because we can't jump out of our car and run where we want to run, okay? So, we saved it. We saved name. We exit. And then we go back to load creation. We go to saved. Name. And if by magic, we can now publish the race. So you push publish, and you publish a race. But then, after you've done that, you'll need to go back into details and change something in the description after you've published it. Add something else. Jump. I don't know. <coughs> And then pub, pub, publish again. And you have to do that because when you go in your bookmark jobs, it doesn't actually show up for some reason because you've obviously tricked the game. So make sure you do that, okay?